So we have a little um, VBCS application where we have visits by customers and we can put in expenses. Um, for example, if we need a hotel staying here for 200 bucks on this date, we can put this information in. Now, what happens if we want to actually notify every time that a new expense is put in, um, let's say our expense department or someone over there. So to do that, we can use a new um, trigger on our business object. So let's go into our business objects. We have the visits and the expenses. And under um, process, uh, sorry, under business rules, we're going to add a new trigger. Okay, and we'll call this one send email. Okay, and we're going to do it on an insert event. Okay, and we can also do it conditionally. So let's do it only if there's a big expense. So only if the cost is greater than, let's say, 100 bucks, we want to do something. We want to send a message. So uh, let's say notify shy. This is the op operation we want to do. And you'll notice that we have a new operation here called send an email notification. Okay? And when you drag it over, it's going to ask you for a template. And initially, you don't have any template, so you can create one. Okay, and you can save it just for this action or as a generic template. We're going to use it just for this action. The subject is um, big expense report. Okay, and we can actually add a parameter here. So like this. Okay, or let's just make it a little clearer for, and then we'll have one parameter which would be the name of the customer. Uh, and then the text of the message, so something like, please note, big expense that costs, and then again, we can add a parameter. That would be our second parameter. Uh, reported on, and a third parameter. So this is our template, three parameters. Okay, we can see them over here. And we can fill values for them. So we're going to take uh, the first one, which is the name of the customer. So um, under the expense, we have the name. So we just shut a little to the right. And by the way, you can do it full expressions here. Okay. And um, for example, here we have the cost. So let's again pick up the cost field. Oops, sorry. Over here. Um, by the way, we can do cost, for example, plus 10. Okay, just to show you that you can do expressions. And then uh, the date. Okay, so this is this one. So we have the three parameters. Okay, and then who do you send it to? And again, this can come out from some field or some expression. I'm going to send it to myself, by the way. So I'm going to use my email. And who is it coming from? So this is coming from uh, HR department at oracle.com, for example. So this is it. We just added a trigger that sends an email um, if we have a big expense. Okay, let's click apply, save, and go back to our page designer. And let's run this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to add is a small expense. So maybe we gave them a small gift, um, 20 bucks on this date. So this shouldn't actually send an email. And then we'll do another expense, a bigger one. Maybe we give them a big gift uh, for 400 bucks on this date, like that. So this would actually send an email. All right, so now let's see my email. And we can see we got a new big expense, okay? for a big gift with the amount plus 10, okay, on a specific date. So this is how you send an email directly from an event on your business object. This is all done from the server side.